We've made it. Well, hello there. <laughs> How's it going today? I hope you're doing awesome. We just had a really nice little moto scoot ride. We just have scoot. Scoot. We, we went on the scoot scoot. Over here. Scoot scoot. Yeah. And now we are heading to Klein Bonaire. So Klein Bonaire is a little uninhabited island off of the coast of Bonaire, which is also an island. And uh, no one lives on it, which is why it's uninhabited. There's no development or anything like that. But supposedly there is a really awesome beach there. Mm -hmm. And we'd just like to say thanks to Karib Watersport, who's actually sending us on this awesome excursion. Yeah, we're so excited. Our host Mark is actually quite the entrepreneur and not only do they have apartments but they also have this awesome Carib water sport business where they are taxiing people back and forth between the islands and take them on all kinds of activities so we've been super lucky we're gonna go have a nice fun day in the sun and we're gonna go see some amazing snorkeling we're gonna go do some amazing snorkeling yeah, so let's see what sort of fish we see. Maybe we'll see some sea turtles, we don't know. But we're heading over to Carl's Beach Bar right over here where Carib Water Sport actually takes stuff from the water taxi. There's two locations here on the island and this is one of them. Yeah, let's go! on this boat right now so How it's lucky. A, yeah totally lucky so it's a Monday right now yeah. and uh, we were asking Mark about when would be the best time to go to Klein Bonaire uh, which is the little island off the coast here yeah. and uh, he says well Saturday we have a boat Sunday we have a boat and when he said a boat he's talking about cruise liners like those Real big, big mamma jammas that carry like four and five thousand people he yeah. says it's just crazy whenever that happens so I said well when are there not boats and he says if you go on Monday there's not a cruise line and uh, you'll probably pretty much have the beach to yourself that sounds pretty fantastic we were just hanging out at Carl's having a quick bevy which isn't a normal thing for us and especially during the day Shanty's mojito. I wonder if we're at Carl's. See the little beaker. This, like, I think this is a shot. Let's see what this is. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's boozy. Let's see if this is booze. Oh, yeah. Also, I didn't plan for this, folks. And I went with a Heineken. And true. Tastes like a Heineken, like anyone would expect. It's cold. <laughs> it is. It's cold and bubbly. Key factor. Delicious. And people were throwing french fries into the water, feeding the fish. The water was so clear and so beautiful. The seagulls were swarming. I don't know if those are seagulls. Those are seagulls for sure. They're, they look a lot different than the ones in Ontario. There might be different breeds of seagulls. Probably. Yeah, like different genus and species of seagulls. <laughs> so the seagulls were dive bombing for the fries, catching them in the air, and the fish were jumping out of the water to get the fries. I don't really know how I feel about feeding fish human food because that human food's not even good for us. But um, I did find it amazing that the water was so clear and there were so many huge fish. It was really cool. I've never seen that many really beautiful tropical fish 
before. I've never seen that many fish eating french fries all in one place. <laughs> if there becomes a, like a, a morbidly obese fish epidemic, we know why. Yeah. Know why. Yeah, if there's like uh, all these fish that are normally not this particular size are now all of a sudden just huge, <laughs> we definitely knew, uh, know why. French fries. French fries. So we left Carl's Beach Bar on the Carib Water Sport Water Taxi, and now we're heading to Eden Beach Resort, possibly pick up more people, and then off to Klein Bonaire. So let's do this. This is like a really exciting day. It's really nice. It's a little bit of cloud coverage, so we won't get scorched because it gets really hot here. Um, yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got things. What does he got? I don't know, maybe a Dorado. <laughs> so that we get picked up on time. I didn't get my feet because the GoPro froze. Kill count, one million. <laughs> GoPro, let us down again. It is windy. windy over here. Is this thing on? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you may not be able to hear us that well because of the wind. But you may be, who knows? <laughs> we are going to go find a spot to put our stuff and then we're gonna walk to the post where you get into the water. All around the island is protected, so the light blue water, you have to stay out of that while you're snorkeling um, because I guess that's where the reef is but they want you to swim on the in the dark blue water on the other side of the reef until you get back to the buoys. Yeah. And then this is like the chill swim spot. What do you think of this over here? Like here? There's all sorts yeah. of spots. Oh yeah, we can do that. All right, we're gonna go explore now. Yeah. Walking around the path, you're going to find this yellow post right here. This post means that you can actually get in the water right here. And when you're swimming in the water, be sure to only swim in the darker color water. That's the deeper water and it's not the part that's protected. The lighter stuff is protected. an awesome swim. I love that so much. 
On the way into the water, I was going in and I was a little bit scared because the guy was like, okay, you're gonna get in at this point over here, you're gonna walk across the reef and then you're gonna swim on the deep side of the reef. And I was like, what? I've never swam for 20 minutes without like flippers on or without a snorkel, not in the ocean. Like I've done that lots in a pool, growing up in a pool, but You grew up in, in a ocean. pool? I grew up in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> so this swim was great. Uh, the sand on the bottom was super, super white and vibrant. There were so many different fish swimming amongst the brain coral and the different fan oh. corals and stuff. Oh, it was so freaking beautiful. Yeah. So this beach here actually has no name. But on the map, if you look for it, it's called No Name Beach. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to know why they haven't given it a name and why does it have a name on Google Maps called No Name if it doesn't have a name? That's a great question. Does anybody know? Let us know in the comments below. Um, that was really cool though. I enjoyed that so much. I feel like I've totally got over my fear of swimming in the ocean. Oh, you were swimming so deep too. That's pretty cool. That was so, so it. awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so it was uh, pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna be here on the beach for probably another 30 minutes or so before the water taxi returns to pick us up, yep. the bright yellow pontoon taxi boat. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, something to know about No Name Beach is that there are no amenities here, which is a really good thing. That's what makes it so tranquil and so beautiful and like, I don't know, such a slice of paradise. But there's no amenities. So bring a snack. We brought these little date snacks that we make. They were delicious. And make sure you bring lots of water and sunscreen. One thing I thought was great is that even though there are no amenities here, there are two very small pavilions that you could put your stuff under. Uh, we ended up just putting our stuff just on the edge of the beach. Uh, in the mangroves. In the mangroves, yeah. Um, and there is also some trash bins here. So if you need to recycle or put your trash somewhere and you don't want to pack it out, we advise that you pack out what you bring in because they have to clean up all of that. Even though it's in the trash cans, there's still stuff on the grounds yeah. also. So. And it is mighty windy here. Yeah. So like just thinking about a bin like blowing over and the next thing you know all that trash is in the ocean. No, no. It's not good. We already saw a pop can floating around while we were at, what's that place called? Carl's Beach Bar. Carl's Beach Bar. When we were at Carl's, we just saw like a can floating around. I was like, man, this water's so gorgeous. It's a shame to see a can just like floating amongst it. So be mindful. Yeah, so we're gonna get the lounge on and uh, then head back to the mainland. Woo! I say mainland, we're actually heading back to the island. From one island to another island. <laughs> Anywho. Island life. Right. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> We had a great time with Caribbean Water Sport. That was so fun. I feel like really excited that I got over my fear of swimming in the ocean, I think, for the most part. I feel really good and comfortable. Like, I was deep diving. 
That was amazing. Yeah, she was like a mermaid. If you if you watched that section, definitely a mermaid. <laughs> My merman. <laughs> cool. Let's go get a bite. Yeah, no, let's grab. Say? Definitely grab a bite to eat. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video, about three times a week, just for you. And if you'd like, go ahead and share it with a friend. We'd super appreciate it. Sharing's caring. Lots of love, and until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on, bye.